Chris Chan is definitely not okay. This new letter just released is absolutely terrifying, disturbing, and we're learning things here that we had no clue of before. And when I heard them, I was pretty shocked. I tell you what, you stick around till the end of this video, you're not gonna believe what we're gonna read today. Before we begin, I just wanna say a huge shout out to everybody who's been listening to the Bay Shaman Podcast. More and more of y'all every day are following on your favorite podcast apps. We're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, and if you'd like to hear the entire archives, head over to bayshaman.com, everything over there. Hundreds of hours of unlisted episodes. With that having been said, baby, we're gonna rock and roll. Let's see what our boy Chris Chan has been up to. Hey, firstly, by the time you read this letter, you will have already received a letter addressed to Helena. So in confirmation for you, mail from March and April 2022 have not been received. All of your other letters have been received. If I had a nickel for every letter Blank sent me, I'd be well over a dollar richer. Second, do not worry about trying to send me money through the jail at this point, for I shall be returning home not long from writing this letter. Thirdly, your questions and the rumors. The address book of mine is separate from the goddess log pages, and I have absolutely no intention to dox anyone. The GL pages will be published in a book, Malachi and Revelations, Out of Jail, working title, and names shall be changed to protect the innocent. Since you're scanning to send the letters to Helena, you may already have read the fact, so I tell you direct as well in confirmation. I have never, ever hooked up with Barbara. That was purely big talk to divinely test everyone. You may share that underlined confirmation online if you wish, for I shall personally share the expanded, full lot of details publicly after my safe return to the Sonichu Temple. The temporary transfer to Redacted was only to put me through restoration to educate me on the courtroom terminology and proceedings. I was never in any unsafe activity, nor was I extremely sick or injured with any chemical drip. Mood point now, but CVRJ accepts only cashier's checks made out by a bank teller at a bank or money orders made and sent from only a post office. Soul bonding is the bonding and union of auras, energy fields, between at least two individuals. Crystals are not required. One can soul bond with themselves in a reunion of your own soul, and the separate energy manifested from your body's core point between the heart and solar plexus chakra points if you have ever astral projected your soul out of your body, and your body managed to continue their functions, at least on basic minimum, during your absence, with the manifestation of a soul copy, manifest- Bro, you are so gone, dude. There is no coming back from where you are at, my friend. Manifested from your body's core! And you find yourself communicating with that separate entity while in your body, then you'd understand the situation and relationship of a body and soul partner relationship. Other multi-individual soul bonding details will be talked about in the upcoming book. I had met Bella through Praetor, who had and has absolutely no correlation with your guard dogs, watchmen, or Null the Judas. Praetor had not the best thought process when screening but he's forgiven. Scratch both those rumors as false. Read the beginning of this letter to answer that question. The goddess log is my journal. I have no intentions of releasing anyone's personal information. Comics are not allowed in jail without the major's prior personal approval for each one. Both of these movies are precursors to the present collective shift in progress. Dimension merge is completed. We are weeding, spontaneously combusting the remaining toxic individuals of the 1218 half of the recombined Earth for Universe 1C211987. In their being left behind. Yes! Battle World is not of 1C211987. 
That is an alternate dimension, planet, separate from 1218, C-197, and 1C-211987. IRL, the result is essentially what you similarly saw in the series finale's end for Star versus the forces of... Bro, what are you talking about? Star versus the forces of evil! And same as before, March 2022. But more like back in August 2021. For I, in a cell, in medical, with a window again. Don't worry about sending me items in jail. For I shall be back at home, at the Sonichu Temple, not long from now anyway. I appreciate yours and Helena's support and kindness of neutral good and good alignments, respectively. Be safe and well, Mrs. Jesus Christine Chan Sonichu. Spiritual greetings, 05-10-2022. Jana Falani, Kenneth, and to all of my followers as well. This letter may be uploaded online. Firstly, I am quite safe and well, and I am humbled and appreciative of thy concerns of my and my body's safety and health. For the time, I am not stating any further details of where and how I was the past two months, nor the details of my case, for even the legal system is most strict on keeping the details private and offline as well. All ye need know, regardless of the foreknown outcome, is that there was absolutely nothing beyond soul bonding that had happened. The leak from last July was false, and a good number of ye all should have known better with good faith and I, instead of succumbing to the demons and devil's temptations of the rumors and drama, and thus failing that divine test. There is no retcon. That is the truth, ultimate. Ye all, those who are not left behind, shall have to wait until the public release of the book, with my goddess log pages in it, months from now, in order to find out the details, and further authentic enlightenments for thyselves. Especially with the facts, present of the shifts and events that have been happening right in front of and around ye. All that make the collective shift from 1218's Earth to C-197's Earth. My second coming not far from now. And judgment day upon the toxic ones and left behinds more clear and obvious too and with ye. I also mentioned the number of months when Sonichu and I were body swapped and the months from March, April to October 2020, when I, in Sonichu's body, was within a nanosecond, frozen sub-dimension, to further develop and harness my own powers and abilities, while also doing for my son's body and mind. These jail months have been that very same training regimen for my old god body right here. So this time away from ye all in greater revelations was meant to be. And as it was then, I shall return to lead ye all not long from now. Here is a massive ultimate truth for ye all. Why, even I, when I was Jesus Christ in Jerusalem, could not for no, specifically at exactly the hour and day of my resurrection. Then, and more presently, my second coming is because even Emmanuel, then and now, <laughs> no god or goddess or anyone for knew specifically. You are so crazy. Specifically when, period, but only the specific shifts and events that lead up to that event. Hence why we wait for the confirmations of those specific shifts and events. And exact the details of the divine plan to counter, to counter and clear that event. So there is no population and universe shattering paradox in our very timeline 
that would undo, kill, and destroy everything if left unchecked. And if most anyone else on Earth, or any planet or points in the universes in this timeline foreknow of the Divine Plan's intricate details and specific events that need to happen, there is a chance one or more would want to counter and prevent the event themselves. In doing that, they would not only ultimately paradoxically fail, period, but their misintention deed would potentially throw the Divine Plan askew and we would have a most difficult time, and possibly lack of sufficient time, to amend the plan and keep all safe and well. This is also why we continue to encourage all of you to have faith in us, gods and goddesses, our divine powers and abilities to prevent the total loss of not only our universes, but our timeline as well. As well as having faith in letting all that needs to happen and fall into place for your health, safety, and benefit happen. <laughs> this is also while all fan fictions have been rendered moot for the events in this timeline since August 1st, 2021, until the foreknown time when that shall be safe once again. Back to present events. I direct your thy attention to World War III, March to May, presently, being cold months. Does the expression, a cold day in hell, resonate to you from that fact? Lockdown bringing forth healthier individuals while dispelling the left behinds, and shifting some as well. Lockdown was a divine test of thy faith, fortitude and endurance, and self-motivation, regardless of the fact Sockness had cursed a country with it and the other facets I've previously mentioned, including suddenly becoming ritualistic and random animals suddenly appearing in random places. As Caden had relayed for me, I had foreknown World War III as why My Little Pony Generation 5 being manifested in 2020 to 2025 was premature, and My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Equestria Girls Generation 4 was needed to continue to Season 14, and no less. My and Nightstar Sonic choose intervention and aid to Hasbro to resume. My Little Pony still is impertinent to ultimately beneficial for everyone. As I have stated in writing personally before, my help and input remains on the table in greatest light power. Humans of Hasbro and for your money-greedy employees and executives' sake. I defiantly urge ye to take us up on that, period. I am serious, as I appear authentically in the more recent photo and then some. Should ye all wish for further confirmations and premonition input to confirm these truths and facts, consult with an authentic, highly enlightened, powerful psychic including Helena and Pikachu, Spunky, the Hyan Doom, and Molly the Medium, or your most local, authentic psychic. Now, for a most truthful and revealing topic that actually shall confirm a number of details from amongst thy thoughts and pre-0801-2021 fan fictions that I may share now. The history facts about Barbara Ann Weston Chandler, and some of, anyway. Had any of ye all actually helped and talked with her in person before today, you would have gotten the awe resonant confirmations and similar of other truths. And do not troll or bother Joseph Cole Smithy or Barbara for more details or anything. <laughs> I tell ye all truest and fact, as sure as when Barbara at age two laughed at her silver paint-coated daddy, and he survived falling off the roof of their house while painting it. As sure as when their cow was killed by a donkey, literally. The Sunday homemade meals with chicken, mashed potatoes, corn, bread and butter, and green beans. 
Stanley Weston finding their daddy dead on his horse-pulled wagon, not far from the convenience store in Red Oak, Virginia. Hmm. So, Barbara had been born and grew up as a child number five out of eight to the Weston family in Red Oak, Virginia, on October 1st, 1941. Her life was a redneck, simple country one. She had mastered sewing, mending, and making clothes and other farm life facets and church-going habits. To note, there are similarities and polar differences between her past and mine, respectively, as I shall write to note to ye all. In her schooling years, especially at high school, Barbara was a very high intellectual, yet she was also a cheerleader for a time. Barbara had two boyfriends in high school, one of which was Tom Ashby, which had gone fairly well. But Barbara had planned to leave for college, so ultimately, she broke up the relationship, and Harriet Weston took Tom for her own. Now, during high school and prior, Barbara's sisters had spread rumors of her, calling her names, but Barbara had never even hooked up with anyone. She never even did anything to herself. It simply never even dawned upon her to do so. And it was not against her religion either. Comparison. She dated. Yet, I was naive on the subject of dating and healthy relationships. And I took myself to Funky Town during our respective high school years. And I was too focused on education to ever seek a relationship or hooking up with anyone. Not counting the friendships in that. Over her adult years... Barbara had attended and graduated from college, and before meeting Mr. C. Robert Chu, Barbara had seven ex-boyfriends, counting the two in high school. And between numbers three and seven, and Mr. C. as well, they all were rather selfish types of men, and in their testosterone-occupied selves, they each had never really cared for her when it came to hooking up. To them, it was more for their own enjoyment and generic reproductive intentions. Jerry and Mr. C aside, they were love em and leave em types. Jack Smithy was number five, and the damn trucker loved Barbara and left her with Cole. Also to note, after five epic failed relationships on her part, after finding Mr. C, Barbara, in her own words, married him because he owned a house. And yet theirs, with I under their care, was a ship that lasted with some genuine love. Comparison. Barbara had selfish exes with actual in-person relationships and a few weddings. I can hardly anything beyond friendships on authentic, and the relationships I had that went anywhere prior to these were distant, online, and fake. I define generational trauma a noun a trauma one experiences from the past experiences and aura resonance, vibrations from the biological parents or legal guardians that can either be beneficial or sabotaging depending on the parents. Now, as one may hear from Joseph Cole Smithy's testimony of Barbara as a mother, he had seen and experienced emotional manipulation, some lack of better care. He even called her a pathological liar when it came to asking her about Jack Smithy and other details from his perspective. No sugarcoating and blunt here from me. I, my years, Barbara was caring, but remained some distant emotionally and mentally. She had emotionally manipulated me at times. When I told her of my intentions of going to a convention in another state, she did threaten to hurt herself. She also had raised her voice to me in upset and anger, especially when it came to money. After the paid hookup with the kind Cherokee woman in April 2012 in May, I told Barbara about it, and she literally propositioned me for hooking up by telling me, I would have taken you to Funky Town myself, Christian. And in one aspect of her unconsciousness, Barbara had considered me being a replacement for Mr. C., after September 6, 2011. So yeah, Barbara, in a way, did become an emotional burden on I. Yet, in despite of the situation, 
and I have personally written to Hilbert the story of Barbara and these and similar words in truth. Nobody had interrogated her. Because of her age. The legal system. Am I right? Now you all know. For now, until my safe return to all of ye and light powers divine, I remind thee of one of the new commandments, and to introduce ye to a couple more of them as inscribed on 10 14 2021. 15. Thou shalt not comment online or offline in hatred, spite, falseness, or without any words of criticism that art intentionally, genuinely meant to be supportive for actual improvements. 14. Thou shalt not hate thy neighbors on others that share any similarities in race, ethnicity, interests, or whatever else with thee. And thou shalt not hate thyself for any of these traits or interests either. 21. Thou need not feel pressured or obligated to pursue relations, and among all who pressure and talk continuously about hookups, please do not speak on and on. And thou need not feel obligated to listen if thou feel uneasy around others when they speak of which. For hookups are better when thou and thy partners actually feel appreciative and open and not pressured by others beforehand. And lastly, to Engelhart and anyone else with the same or similar ideas. Now is not the time to make any lolcow wiki pages on anyone who does not already have such on them including celebrities and politicians. For at these immediate times, the collective shift and greater events are on and happening, and ye need to be observant and enlightening for thyselves, as well as recognizing and dispelling any and all remaining dark, demonic, devilish influences from deepest within thyselves and thy unconsciousness. Ah, for now, my individuals and followers alike, I farewell, work diligently, thorough and hard for ye all. Be safe and well. Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sonichu, the goddess blue heart of the Commodore Consul, guardian of the Sonichu and Rosichu species of Pokemon, thy one avatar, Lord Messiah Savior, and God of all. Hey, if you love the Chris Chan content, come check it out. We've got hundreds of hours. I'm not kidding, hundreds of hours of Chris Chan content. And uh, holy shit, 685,000 views on this playlist. Yowza canalza. Lots of Chris Chan content. If you're into this stuff, if you're as crazy as we are, you'll enjoy it. Hey, don't forget to come subscribe to the Base Shaman Podcast on your favorite podcast app. Can't wait to see you over there. Again, today's episode, man, Supreme Gentleman. He's a, you girls, it's a crime and injustice. Everything that's too damn funny and entertaining for YouTube is on there. Hey, I'll see you soon. You take care and have a wonderful, blessed up rest of your day.